After we found out we were expecting twins, we ordered this Mercedes Metris, which took seven months for delivery. We love the fact that the Metris fits inside our garage, even with our rooftop tent and the lift kit. It's also nice that the van has sliding doors, which makes it easy for kids to get in and out of. We use the van for transporting the chunk kids. We carried over a thousand pounds of concrete and lumber. We hauled motorcycles and bikes. And we transport plants and trees from the nursery, and the list goes on. Today we're going to show you how to increase the utility and versatility of the van by upgrading to European seats and a sliding track system. Amazing! Alright, so in the Mercedes Metris, these seats, there's two rows, they're all fixed position so you can't slide them back and forth. Um, but we went ahead and bought these seats, they're European seats that actually fold and we bought these sliding tracks so we'll be able to move it uh, up and down in the back easily just with the lever. So before I show you guys how to remove the factory seats and the tracks and how to install the new setup, let me show you guys what the new seats look like. These are actually the factory European seats but for some reason you can't even order them as an option in North America. Well at least that was the case when we ordered our van. Um, so unlike the factory seats, these are super comfortable because they recline, which is obviously important because this is also the Chunk Kids party bus and limo service. So Sloan, I'm going to actually have you show them first. So let me see, there's a, each seat has a lever, right? So they're individual, so go ahead and pull that. Yep. How about you, Olive? Let's go ahead and push your lever, pull your lever all the way up. <laughs> all right, Gray, you want to be comfortable too? All right, pull the lever all the way up. Strong boy, all the way up. There you go. Good, good. Very nice. What do you guys think? Pretty cool? Okay, so now, we can also have like a little table set up here. You guys can sit across from each other, maybe um, play some cards, play some games. games. No, <laughs> games, yay. The other thing is, so we're gonna show everyone how these seats will slide forward and backwards, and we can have them in any position that we want. But this is the factory seat, the two-seater. We, we removed the three-seater. This, you can see, mounts to the two further rails uh, driver's side now these are fixed position as in you can actually remove the seat <coughs> adjust these sliders here forward and back and then remount the seat but they won't slide like the european seats will now let's show them how the seats come all the way down um, go ahead and you can pull the lever up again there you go. So now we just fold it down. All is the one, try it too. Let's show them what it looks like when it's all the way flat. Right. Your turn, Gray. Let's see if you can pull it all the way up. It's hard. Aren't you? Keep and going. Mom okay, good. Here? You can let. Good job, Gray. Aren't you and Mom gonna stay here? We can. What we'll do is, <clears throat> Dad's gonna make a platform where you can slide underneath these uh, this section here and. When we go camping, we're actually gonna remove the two-seater. We'll leave that in the garage. Then what we'll do is we can lay the platform there all the way across to our swivel seats, which we'll turn around. We'll lay it on top of there and then set a mattress on top. And you guys can sleep on top of the roof nest. Super fun. Oh, the other benefit to having this, in the past, if we wanted to uh, buy a full sheet of plywood, we would have to have it cut or take the seats out. And these seats are very heavy. So now all we we'll have to do is put a blanket on top and we can slide it all the way through. That is extremely useful. All right, now to pull the seats back up, show them how easy that is. Good job, that's it. Now they're locked in place. Yeah, you know what? Actually, Surrender told me, pull this up here again. I hear some kids 
want to have space in between each other. <laughs> so you can use that as an armrest, a table, and then Gray can sit next to Olive. And you guys are playing because you guys are twins. And I have my own space. Twins are double trouble. You're not double trouble? Ah! Single trouble? I like the seat so much that I want to drive the car every day. I know, it's, it's definitely going to be more comfortable this way. Yeah. And fun. I just want to see here. I'm going to pull this latch up, and then I can go ahead and either pull back from here, there's a bar, or I can just push the seat forward. So with the new setup, you're able to pull the seats back closer to the door by about two feet. And you're also easily able to slide the seats all the way to the front. First thing we'll have to do is remove this seat. So to do that, in the back, you're gonna see this little latch right here. So we're gonna pull this latch up, we're gonna tilt the seat forwards, and then there's also three levers uh, these levers here, which will also pull up to disengage the lock, and you'll be able to lift the seat right out. It is heavy, so you'll definitely need two strong people. Now that the seat is out, we need to remove all three of the factory rails. Um, the, the outer rails, they have seven um, bolts each, and then the inner or the middle, middle rail has six bolts. They're hex, and they are actually uh, Torx T45. So I have my wrench here with the T45 and I have my Milwaukee um, impact driver so I'll go ahead and loosen these up and then the kids will go ahead and pull them out. It's super cool. Like, stand here? Yeah, you guys can sit there. <clears throat> Alright, so check it out. Olive. All of the bolts, they're gonna be where you have these little circles, okay? My mind is blown. Your mind is blown? My mind is blown too. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and take these out. Yes, I'm so excited to camp. All right. All right, so they're not held on very tight at all. Yeah. Oh, there's something. Gosh, that's dirty, that's filthy. Really dirty. There's a doll in there. This is a big screw. You guys, all right, Dad went ahead and loosened all the bolts. So now you guys can go ahead and unscrew them the rest of the way. Remember there's seven on each rail on the outside and there's six on the middle rail. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, by the way, might want to have a vacuum or a little nail handy because our tracks were filthy. Um, we found quarters, we found um, little dolls, all sorts of things in there. Whose doll was it? Mine, but was yours? Oh my gosh. I was six You were six and now you're seven, almost turning eight? You're, it was missing for two years? Oh my gosh. Well, now you found it. Are you ready? So here, Song, I want you to... Okay, go ahead and pull the trigger. Keep going until it comes out. There, it's out. got it in 2018 when you guys when we had twins and we had didn't have enough space in our uh, golf sport wagon diesel that was an awesome car what, wait, what did it look like? um, I'll, I'll show you I have pictures of it Well, well, let's let's check this out. Lift it up. 
There we go. Put it right out. That is it. That's so right. Go over there, it's not right. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. That's what the inside of the track looks like. Lots of dirty sand. You have this small, you have this mat here, you have the plastic on top, and then foam underneath. So we're gonna have to cut through that. Let me go ahead and extend it there. Let's take a look at the rail. Sloan, factory rail. Uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and get these bolts out. Voila. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's one more somewhere. Oops. No, these are just the tracks. There it is. This is just the locking mechanism that... These screws are filthy. There was stuff all in there. All right, so we'll do the same thing. We'll pull out these other two rails and then we're gonna start measuring and cutting. Thank you. You see how dirty these screws are? I need to kind of clean them out. We'll clean the, the head here where the clip stick goes through and we'll also clean the threads. We'll do it to all the, all the bolts. Okay, that's what it looks like with the tracks completely out. Now we can go ahead and uh, start cutting the liner to fit the new rails. Okay, now save these end caps, these plastic end caps on both sides of each rail because you'll need them to uh, swap them onto the new tracks. Alright, so I have the new tracks on the left and here's the OEM track. It looks like it measures 71 and 7 eighths of an inch. Now let's take a measurement on the new. Right. Looks like 85 and a quarter. All right, so the factory rail was 71 and 7 eighths. And then the actual slot that the track goes into is 72 and a quarter. 72 and a quarter. All right. So I used some masking tape to um, mark off the length of the new rails. You need to extend it to 85 and 7 eighths of an inch. So all that there is going to be cut. So remember there's this um, liner. There's a little very thin plastic piece underneath and then foam the rest of the way. And what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and use this factory rail as a straight edge and I'll go ahead and start scoring. These these mounts or the um, what do you call it the box where they latch onto you. I have them moved up front, so I'll go ahead and screw in the bolt in the back first. Then we'll go ahead and adjust this and move it around. All right, this is what it looks like with the tracks installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the bolts back in and tighten everything up. Okay, so uh, one important key when installing this 
I'd recommend moving your latches to the front here. So I only bolted in the first two bolts on the each corner. There's nothing that goes here. And I bolted in two bolts on each rail on the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install the seat here, pull the seat back, then I'll have access to the remaining bolts and I'll go ahead and tighten everything up. All right, these seats are heavy. We've got them installed. I'm in the back here now. And all you have to do is pull this latch and lever and then the whole, all of the seats slide. Alright, the van's really dirty but the tracks are installed, the 2 plus 1 seats are installed, they're reclined all the way back and they're back all the way up to the AC unit which is as far as they can go. Got a ton of room in the front, we're going to try to mount the 2 seater backwards now. If you guys are interested in these seats, check out MetroSeats.com by Premier Updates. We're not sponsored by them, but I just want to say Surrender is the owner, and it was a great experience working with him. He's super knowledgeable, and he's just a great guy.